My Hands Sing the Blues, Romir Bearden's Childhood Journey. He was a self-taught artist. I think I'm about to cut these fancy lights because I don't like the glare that they create. Ta-da! That's better. Ooh, a nice tube of paint right there. I snip a patch of color and add a cutout face. Oh, I glue on jazzy blue for sky and add another face. People walk into my work as if it's always been their place. My hands sing the blues when I paint and cut and paste. I never know what I'll create when I paint and cut and paste. I use paper, fabric, photos, and nothing goes to waste. I really like doing collage projects. Today my memory rolls back to my North Carolina past. Swirling days of hot July picking berries in my past. Just then a train roars across my canvas with a loud and steamy blast. I'm back as a boy, talking with great grandma down the old dirt road. I'm walking with great grandma down the old dirt road to the land of the Cherokees from where her stories flowed. He was African American and Native American. Rocking on her creaky swing, we hear the crickets chirp. We feel the humming of Magnolia Mill and hear the crickets chirp. We gulp down warm tomato slices, trying not to slurp. I'm not wearing my glasses or contacts, so I can't really tell what I look like over there, but I did try to fix my hair for the story. Riding up on great grandpa's shoulders, I'm a strong and mighty tower. My chin resting on his head, I'm a strong and mighty tower. We're watching the good trains go by hour after hour. Josie and I watched some trains over off the Cedar Lake Trail yesterday. We like to look at them and see if there's any graffiti painted on the side. That's like a naughty mural. Those people do not have permission to paint on trains. We know every train by its swinging whistle tune. Each engineer plays a different whistle tune like the Atlanta New York special sizzling through at noon. Here comes some really bad train sound effects. The train chucka 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 on by. Woo 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 woo. One more round of whistles. Woo 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 woo. Wow we do. Uh, woo, 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 woo. That doesn't even sound like a train. Wow woo do do. I hope somebody's laughing at me. Then one day I'm waiting on a bench for a train to roll on in. Mom and Pop and me, we're waiting for a train to roll on in to take us to New York where our new life will begin. So they lived in the South at a time where everything was segregated. Right here when they get to the train it says white entrance and right here it says colored entrance. So at that time the world was very segregated. Much worse than it is right now. From the south to the north, many more have gone before me. Riding on the railroads, many more have gone before me. Waiting to be free like the wind blows through a tree. From somewhere down the track, I can hear that whistle blow. I tap my toes to the beat and I hear that whistle blow. Wadi woo! I, I, I'm going to come up with my own train sounds. I don't know that I love the train sounds in here. The locomotive slides in slow. Lifting luggage up the stairs, the Pullman Porter nods at us. Standing by the sleeping cars, the Pullman Porter smiles at us. But we can't go in the sleeping cars, and we're not to make a fuss.
Tears sting my eyes when I hear the call. All aboard! I hug great grandma and great grandpa. Then I climb aboard. I settle in my seat and wonder what we're traveling toward. Tinka tinka tink. The engine picks up speed. Tinka tinka tink. Bye bye, trade station. Trade street station. They. I had trouble with this word earlier. You guys know I have trouble with some words. With a thrumming and a drumming, the train hums a tune to me. I press my nose against the glass and watch the world whizzing by. A patchwork quilt of greens and golds, the world is whizzing by. Farms and fields of cotton, roosters pecking bugs nearby. I spy a woman by a wash tub, stirring, staring up at me. I wonder what she's thinking, staring up at me. Maybe that tomorrow, so far away I'll be. The train g-glides, g-glides us up to Harlem, New York City. That's where I am right now, painting what's inside of me. sharing stories of my past and the joys and fears inside of me. There's the Apollo and this is Cotton Club, places in New York City. I think the Apollo is still there for sure. Maybe not, I might be making that up. Like a flower, I have roots in my Carolina past. Roots sunk deep in my childhood long past. The people and places are in my art to last. Creating art is a great way to document how you were feeling or things that were happening at a certain time in your life. That's why it's important to not just toss it all out. When I begin something new, I take it slow and steady. I let myself become my art and I take it slow and steady. I lag behind the beat until I'm sure I'm ready. I want my art to touch each of us so we can understand. I want to follow roads from secret places so we can understand that the blues sing for each of us all across the land. I like, I'm like a singer calling out then holding back. I'm like a trumpet player blowing loud then dropping back. When I put a beat of color on an empty canvas, I never know what's coming down the track. you enjoyed the story. I'm going to try to find my Clementine Hunter story for next time.